It looks like Kanye has officially changed his mind on the whole um, ASAP Rocky has fucked Yoon from ambush allegation that he threw out there in the midst of his tailspin that he's been on week, all weekend or maybe all week it feels like maybe it feels like it's been longer than that but regardless he's kind of recanted it in the most typical Kanye way possible and it's absolutely hilarious for obviously us watching it as viewers and kind of keen observers but for the people involved it must be absolutely hell do you know I mean he's creating all these uh, you know arguments and debates behind the scenes and breaking up friendships or putting friendships and relationships into question it's for all our entertainment but the people involved are probably having you know a really difficult time you'd imagine kind of dealing with it, especially when you kind of consider his influence and how people treat him and all this sort of stuff it just can be maybe a little bit frustrating but regardless Let's talk about it. So this is courtesy of um, the Nerd Stash, and it says Kanye West rethinks Yoon Ann um, and ASAP Rocky sex allegation. And obviously it's got him basically saying in a new post that he put on Instagram that I think got deleted, um, which said the following, new confirmation, Rocky didn't fuck Yoon, Ambush still trash, I know Yoon and Verbal before Tremendous was ever around, rule with Ye and stay out of it unless you want to get into it, because um, all y'all's are out of it when my Chi was also, when Chi was kidnapped on her birthday, which is absolutely hilarious. Now, if you're not familiar with this, if you're not aware, I think the only crime Yoon from Ambush committed in the eyes of Kanye West was that she dared to like the post that Tremaine made, which essentially called him out for his own hypocrisy, which basically said, you know, hey, you're talking all this bit talk and stuff, but you were never invited to Virtual Blood's funeral for a very specific reason. And you don't want to let anybody know this because, you know, it makes you look bad. And now due to Kanye basically spiraling since then and not really ever addressing, he didn't actually ever say why he was never invited. He said some things, which I'll speak about later, about not knowing that he, when Virgil had cancer, um, that's what he basically alleges and stuff, but he hasn't really been direct in terms of answering um, Tremaine Emery's kind of, or Tr Tremaine Emery, I keep calling it Emery, Tremaine Emery's questions rhetorical or not about why he wasn't invited instead what he ended up doing was obviously attacking Hailey Bieber attacking Gigi Hadid and it's all kind of been dis to distract away from the core point which is that allegation or that kind of you know assumption that flipping uh assertion sorry that Tremaine put out there would essentially paint Kanye in a really bad light because we all kind of believed the the kind of smoke and mirrors that Virgin and Kanye were brothers and even though they went through this bad patch in time where maybe Kanye was jealous that Virgil getting the job before him and stuff and they fell out because of it they patched things up as they did in that famous runway picture where they hugged and stuff and since then they've been pretty much cool well, I guess that wasn't the case, according to what Tremaine said. And Yoon decided to like the, the tweet or the Instagram post, which was fairly universally recepted really well, um, because I guess it called into question Kanye's own hypocrisy and revealed some background stuff that we didn't know as fans from the outside and kind of basically reaffirmed to people like myself who maybe pay more attention than the average person that everything that most people have said about Kanye has always been true he's always been a bit of a cunt he's always been a bit of a prick but his friends around him who are benefiting the most from it at the time from going to shows and going to listing parties and getting free shoes they kept telling us we were bugging and that we didn't actually get him when the whole time he was always consistent and always this bit of a cunt but now he's kind of done this you know um right wing grift shift and a bit of a heel turn this obviously upset them because they're mostly ideologically possessed and politically obsessed so they can't really get with it but he's always kind of been the same person maybe his obviously ideologies and political beliefs and social beliefs have changed somewhat but as a human he's always been at his core like this i don't think you suddenly turn into the cunt where you're airing out all your friends dirty laundry to the public this is always something that you've done in some element so her only crime was to like that, which everyone kind of said to some level of truth. And then Kanye decided to go at her by just basically doing what Kanye does best, where kind of belittling the thing that you know you cherish the most. Because I think deep down he has a lot of mean girl energy. He's that kind of like, I kind of think of him like a, a kind of male version of Nicki Minaj, right? Who has, I think, the ability to like tear you apart with her words, right? She could say something to you that will kind of sit with you forever. And I think Kanye's got the same sort of power, especially with him being a creative himself or being an artist or working in fashion design. He knows the things that designers are insecure about. So he's probably had conversations with Yoon about her being, you know, not too sure about her brand and about where it sits. Because even myself, full disclosure, I'm not the biggest fan of Ambush. I think it's very um, meh in the middle of the road. It kind 
kind of jumps around from different themes every collection has really have an identity and i think if anything doesn't really add anything to the current conversation we have in fashion but still she seems pretty unproblematic keeps herself to herself does her clothes keeps her moving but i'm sure in some past life when they were friends and they used to hang around each other i'm sure Eunice shared that she maybe doesn't feel the most confident with her brand and obviously Kanye would use that to weaponize it to then kind of attack her back so that was obviously a low blow and then of course playing on the whole notion or playing on the thing that you know Yoon was a video girl for Asa Brocky once back in the day when he filmed the video for LSD and they had a really intimate kiss in the video and that was it which was like a random video but I guess Kanye is playing on that or maybe he used to wank to it I don't know and re-mentioning it so many years later down the line when Rocky's in relationship he's got a kid with Rihanna the kid's just been born like just unnecessary nonsense and you know he probably caused a lot of upset around them in their household and whatnot you can just imagine and then now here he comes with this kind of fluffy kind of half apology half explanation for why i was being a cunt like i'm apologizing but here's why i said what i said so basically not apologizing and um and basically maybe reaffirming that because I, I actually thought they got divorced i thought they went together because i've not seen pictures of union and verbal together in a while don't get me wrong i don't really check for them that much but i'm not sick because i remember they used to always be around fashion shows and shit they are taking pictures of our shows and whatnot so you don't usually see pictures of them together too tough so i thought maybe they'd split and obviously he's confirming in his own way that they haven't and he just put the rumor out there just to be a cunt. Or even if they have fucked, it's none of our business. Ultimately, it's none of our business. It does nothing. Because they're two, I would say, especially with Yoon, she's quite a relatively private person. Yeah, I know she's very fine, she's a designer, but she's not out there with her business. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's a bit unfair. And I actually, funnily enough, I actually got to meet her once. Um, but again, at previous job I was at where I was design, putting together designing, helped to co-produce a streetwear program. I tried to get her involved in the streetwear course but she didn't want to do it at the time because I think she was very particular about her image, which I probably she probably still is, about how she positions her brand and her personal brand, her brand, her personal brand. And I think that was a major stipulation. Well, from what I can remember, because I think we met her in a pub. And what I remember first off is that she had, um, um, what do I remember first off? Oh, she had a very, sti I would say stinky, but she, she had a very like standoffish face. But it was just, how to, that's just how she looks. Um, but she's very attentive. I felt like very kind, very nice, very easy to talk to. But the first thing you notice about her is that she got that kind of like, what's this motherfucker gonna say? She got that kind of face in real in real life. But I found her to be really pleasant and really nice, which is why when I saw him attack, I was like, come on, man. She seems like a real like lady. You know what I mean? Why would you attack someone like that? She just doesn't seem like she bothers anybody. So clearly that was maybe something that we don't really know about personally wise. And then, you know, she decided to post some other stuff as well, kind of getting back at him a little bit, kind of felt a little bit, you know, unnecessary. And just in general, you know, somebody that was just minding their business, doing their thing, having to post these kind of like, you know, back to business, back to office, back to business, operate always or a place of high vibrancy tweet, picture things. And then you see the picture of her, like, you know, we all know what that looks like, you know, we all know what that is behind the eyes, you know what I mean, she's still probably a little bit cut up about the whole thing, and I think it's just unfair in general, do you know what I mean, like, he's a real beef with whatever he's beefing with, Bernard Arnault, Alexander Arnault, uh, LVMH in general, Corporate America, JP Morgan, well, whoever's beefing with, those are his real enemy, but going after someone like this who had literally nothing to do with it because they dared to agree with a point that everyone else agreed with, it's just really low, and I'm sure there were many people on that list of likes that he saw that he didn't air out, so he was definitely being picky about who is airing out people he knows you can go to war with we could kind of quote unquote bury um and the other thing i said before as i mentioned which i didn't share on here because you know i don't want to encourage that nonsense but when i was checking for her page when it first happened when he first said what he said god damn it bruv the comments were brutal some guys were like saying oh yeah like verbal is a flipping asian will smith um you've broken up a household like they were attacking her the same way do you remember when that fucking guy on twitter decided to leak the news or share the news that wasn't true that well according to them it wasn't true we don't know if it was, was true but the news that kind of thing even jiggy that rocky had them um, cheated with some stylist that rihanna had or something like that and um no one knew if it was true or not but her name got put out there and then obviously rihanna fans who don't like rocky anyway for whatever reason decided to go and attack that woman and her comments were getting flooded with you know 
with flipping Navy, I guess, as us Rihanna's fans, right? Going after her to a point where she had to kind of lock down her account. And that's the same thing you saw happening to Unicamp. account. She was just getting flooded in the comments of like all of Kanye's kind of trolls and stands and whatever, just saying the most meanest things possible to kind of get the most up likes and whatnot. It was just a bit horrible to watch. So even if it wasn't just a little jibe to kind of get back at somebody because you felt like they shouldn't be in a place to say something to you because you know them for ages, the ramification of it's one little jibe bloody hell bruv like honestly really really brutal so that's how that ended anyway with you in ambush um kanye kind of clarified it in the most kanye way possible um which wasn't really clarifying it in all actuality and probably he's done already enough damage already as it is but hey that's an apology you're going to get from minute so i guess you have to kind of take that one um how you can take it really for the most part